Yo. How y'all feeling? Tap my guy truck in. Yeah, what's Yo, up, Brody? what's up, Brody? Mister, it's just work. What's up, Brody? It's just work. I just finished. That's why I said we gotta do this now. I ain't gonna cry. I got mad shit to do. That's why I had to push it. Facts, up. facts. No, for sure, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you long, man. I know you be busy, be out here, so I'm gonna let you do your thing. Yeah, I'm but just, uh, you know, just working. That's it. Facts, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanna say I appreciate you, my G. You know what I'm saying? Make the time to tap on with me. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You already know that. You know that, gangster. All love. For sure. Um, you know what I'm saying? To start off, Brody. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, you know, being from New York, bro, how was it for you growing up, you know, stuff like that? Well, I'm, I'm trenches. I'm from the trenches. Um, I mean, I, I got uh, lucky that my mom's had a great job. So, but other than that, we always lived in, we always lived in the trenches. Shout out to Complex Sports. Thanks. So what made you, you know what I'm saying, how'd you get involved in sports? You know what I'm saying? Was it somebody in the fam that was already in the sports or was it just like, that's what you got adapted to, being in the neighborhood and stuff like that. How'd you get into it? Look, I grew up, I'm going to be honest. That's what people don't like sometimes. I'm brutally honest. My cousin mm -hmm. was a big, big time, big time drug dealer. I don't, I didn't want to live that lifestyle. I chose basketball. My mother kept me on the right path and straight like that. Facts. Straight like that. And I just I felt, I fell in love with the game. Facts. Okay. Um, For you, bro, when you were coming up and you were, you know, getting into sports, what was that age where you kind of realized, like, all right, basketball is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying, here on out? Because, you know, as a kid, bro, we try everything, baseball, soccer, you know what I'm saying? But how did you know who it was going to be for you? I ain't going to lie. I think I, I was like I was like, I was like 11 or 12. I was playing with Riverside Church. Mm -hmm. And then I, I played against Gauchos. At this time, Gauchos was the best team in, in New York. I, I killed Gauchos. I killed Gauchos. Yeah. And, um... After that, they was like, yo, we want you to play with us type shit. So that's when I knew, like, yo, damn, I'm, I'm all right. I could play a little bit. Yeah. So after that, you was all right, man. I'm... After that, it was lit. Facts. Okay. Uh, for you, bro, who you who do you consider the GOAT, man? Is it MJ? Is it Kobe? Is it Braun? It, it's MJ. It's MJ. Mm -hmm. But the best all-around player, I think, is LeBron, for sure. So do you think Braun could ever pass MJ as the ultimate GOAT? Nah. No. ain't happening. Okay. It happening. Okay. Because, you know, some people say, all right, if he get that number one all-time scoring spot, if he get probably two or three more rings, maybe <laughs> that'll put him over the top. But you say it's a nah for you? Nah, that's a nah for me. Okay. All right. bet Y'all heard it here from Truck. Uh, for you, bro, growing up, who was your favorite favorite basketball player growing up in the league? Sure, I have so many. But uh, Paul Pierce, of course, was one of them. MJ, Darren Williams, Baron Davis. You know what I mean? I I like the gangsters. They they was they was holding it down. Facts, facts. Uh, for you, you got a favorite like basketball moment of your career? I know it's a, you know saying so you've been hooping for a minute. You probably got so many. Shit, I can't even choose one for real. It's um to be honest, every time I step on a court, that's my best moment because you never know what you see what's going on today in today's world. Everybody dying and shit. Every time I step on the court, that's my best moment. Right, because that could be but your last moment. That could be court. your last moment. Facts, respect. Okay. Being being from the NY, bro, I know y'all probably you probably got a few of these, but who is your toughest matchup, bro? Who is like your toughest, you know what I'm saying? You know every time you match up with him, it's gonna be a battle. You know what I'm saying? Joe and Theodore and Kimber Walker. Those those are my toughest matchups. Those those my brothers. We we played with each other since we was thirteen years old. Mm -hmm. Those those been my roughest matchups because we going at it every day in practice. Mm-hmm. During school, high school, we playing against each other, all three yeah. of us playing against each other, and then in the summer we playing AU together. Yeah, so it's like y'all pretty much was y'all know what each other' weaknesses is and all that strengths. Everything, and all that. weaknesses, strengths, everything. Facts. Okay, um, you know, what I'm saying not to get too personal, bro, but whatever you're willing to share, what's something that you kind of went through that kind of made you the man you are now? Shit a lot, to be honest. I'm, I'm from the hood. That's the first thing. You know what I mean? Right, the, the, right. This is what people don't understand, right? The goal is to always get out the hood, not be in the hood. You know what I mean? So I, I think that I think that was most important for me. And that's something I always tell the young kids. Like I'm it's it's cool to be home once you make some money and all that, but mm. be careful. It's a lot going on. Facts. 
Okay. Uh, so this one right here is my favorite question to ask any of my guests. Um, but from the NY, bro, give me your, your top five hoopers from the NY. Ooh, that's tough. Kimba. There's no, there's no one, two. I'm just naming names. Okay. Respect. Kimba, Sebastian Telfair, Stephon Marbury. Mm-hmm. Damn. Um. Uh, yeah, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. Look, somebody said Jersey too. Look, that'll be that'll make it harder too. Make it add Jersey in on that. Yeah, I can't add Jersey in because that that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. K Walk, Stephon Marbury, Sebastian Telfair. Mm -hmm. Um. I might have to throw Kenny Anderson in there. Rod Strickland. Oh, okay. Now look, let me let me ask you this because it's my favorite player. I'm a ride or die. You could is is is, is, is my guy Melo from the NY, bro. They say he's so, from the NY. They say you're from like Maryland area. You know, what it's, I'm it's, so this is a funny topic because Melo was born in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. But if Melo claims Baltimore, Baltimore can have him. It's respect. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, but he was born in Brooklyn. Okay, but he just moved to Maryland area. At, okay, and that's where he was raised at. So I guess it's, it's where you raised at. You know what I mean? So thanks. Okay, we, we say mellow. We say mellow from Baltimore. Okay, respect. Um, if you could have five dinner guests, bro, dead or alive, to sit chop it up with, bro, who would be your five dinner guests? Hove, LeBron, um, <laughs> Hove, LeBron. Dennis Rodman, he's unmatched. <laughs> Dennis Rodman? That's, Dennis a, that's Rodman. a new one, bro. That's a new Dennis, one. No, Dennis Rodman left the, the – the, yo, he left to go hit something and then came back, but he missed the playoff game, yo. No, nah, he's okay. unmatched. Okay, respect. Dennis Rodman. Um, Who else? I don't know. That's a tough one. You get me the name of names. I don't know. Uh, some people say like MLK, Barack, Nip. Uh, I, I I I take I take those two. Okay, I take those two. Bar Barack and, and Nip. Okay, respect. Uh, for you, bro, what has the game of basketball? Nah, not Nip. I'm sorry, Bar Barack and, and 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 Biggie. That's what I'm taking. Respect. Okay, okay. I ain't mad at that. I'm from Brooklyn. I had to. I'm bugging out. <laughs> they gonna be on you, bro. They gonna be yeah, on you. I, yeah. Uh, but for you, bro, what has the game, you know, playing the game of basketball, kind of taught you that kind of carry in everyday life? Work hard, whether you're on and off the court. Because I mean, so now, like, I got a podcast too. So mm -hmm. it's like I work as hard as I do on that court when I'm playing or running or doing anything as I do my podcast. It, it's not easy getting guests. You know that. Thanks. You gotta run. You gotta run people down, chase people down, and I'm not used to that. Like, yeah, I'm. Cause you don't like, want to feel like you a you a leech. You bothering people. You bugging. Yeah, people, like I'm you know? like I'm like I'm bothering you, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. So that's 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 one thing though. Work hard every day. That that translates in life. Facts, facts. Um, bro, what's your favorite hoop and shoes of all time? Pro to be honest, probably probably these KDs I played in in college. I'm Which one so was comfortable. it? I have no idea. They was gold. I just, they was elite. They was elite. I like the tens though. Jordan tens. The one with the the strap on top. And I ain't have no strap. I don't even know what. I don't even know what number they was. Okay. T. Right. Hosley was good. T. Hosley. Okay. All right. What is your favorite basketball movie? Through the fire. Sebastian Telfair. Big Ooh. Brooklyn vibes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so these questions right here, bro. I'm gonna give you two players, and you just tell me. Okay, let, let's say you the you the GM of a team. I'm gonna give you two players. You tell me which one you'd rather have on your squad. Bron and KD. Uh, Bron. Steph or Dame. Steph. Harden or Luca. James Harden. We going Kawhi. We going Giannis. Kawhi. Uh, Brad Bill or Jimmy Butler. Bradley Bill. Uh, Jokic or Embiid. That's tough. Now that that's one I gotta think about. I'm gonna take Embiid though. Okay. Uh, we going Dirk or we going Tim Duncan? Tim Duncan. Steve Nash, Jason Kidd. 
J. K. Lamelo or Paul Pierce? Oof. <laughs> I was like, I know you said Paul Pierce, your guy. I'm going Paul Pierce. We going Westbrook. Or we going D Rose. Westbrook. Ooh, okay. We going Devin Booker or Donovan Mitchell? D Book. We going Jason Tatum or we going Brandon Ingram? Jason Tatum for sure. Uh, we going AI. Or we going D Wade. Look, my nigga from Baltimore. You see, he's a mellow, mellow, mellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mellow OD, but I, I I I couldn't do I couldn't do that one. Paul Pierce, I used to look up to Paul Pierce, like, and especially after his live, I look up to him even more now. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. <laughs> and then the last one, we going AI, or we going D Wade. Oh, that's ooh. a tough one. Yeah, I gotta I, I gotta go D Wade because he be you know what I mean, he bigger, stronger. That's that's the only way. That's uh, that's tough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, we're going to go to music, bro. Give me your top five rappers of all time. Jay-Z, Drake, Biggie, Pac. That last one, I don't know that last one. That last one tough. You, you, a lot of people saying Drizzy right now, bro. I, I, no, I put, he, I put him up there. He, uh, Drizzy, Drizzy up there. Uh, Wayne. I put Wayne in there. Okay. I'll put Wayne in there. Okay. Uh, if you could listen to three albums, any um, album, mixtape, whatever, for the rest of your life, what three would you rock out with? Black album. Uh, damn, what's that? What's that? What's that Biggie album? I forgot. Damn, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what that Biggie album's called. Damn. I'm a young. I don't even know. <laughs> Shit. How the hell I forget what this is called? Um, Life After Death? Okay. To be honest, I'm going with that little baby shit. That that little baby sh that little baby shit was elite. Yeah. I'm going to go with that little baby album that he, that he came out with. Facts. Okay. Ready to die. Ready to die. That's what it is. Oh. Okay. okay. Bro, what was the best piece of advice somebody ever gave you before? <sighs> um, oof. That's... That's tough. Um, but to be honest, I got I get a lot of great advice. You know, it's it's and and the, and the best part about it is it's all love. You know what I mean? It's all love. Like like them like them NBA guys that be in my live and shit. Like it's mm -hmm. all love. Like not on the internet. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In real life. You yeah. know what I mean? You know they know I got a shit to do, a show to do, and this that and the other. But I don't know. I I I, I always go back to the hard work shit because. The, the the more the more you work, you start seeing shit pay off. Like you just start seeing shit pay off. Like today, I just got a I just got a I just got a deal for my podcast. Salute, bro. I appreciate it. Like money wise, like and for me, it was just all hard work. It wasn't like I love going live. That's for the culture, but I get paid off. Of, that was out of love. Going live was out of love. I get paid yeah. for my podcast. I don't get paid to go live. Thanks. You know what I mean? So. But I think the best advice is just honestly just work work hard at anything you do. Thanks. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. still hooping. I'm still hooping right now. I'm doing a podcast. I'm hooping. I got two kids that I that I that I'm with often. Like so, I got a lot going on. You know what I mean? But I still yeah. find a way to get shit done. Thanks. Okay. Look, they killing me in the comments. They want to know uh, Kimba or Kyrie, bro. Oof. 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 <laughs> Kimba or Kyrie, bro. It's a tie. They they trying to get an answer out of me. They ain't getting no answer out of me. It's a tie. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Uh, they both my brothers. I can't answer that. Thanks. Okay, y'all heard it here. And then the, the last one I got for you, Brody, uh, you know what I'm saying, who would you like to, you know, see on here that can kind of come on here and kind of, you know what I'm saying, tell your story a little bit, you know what I'm saying, as far as T how Fisher. they came up? Corey Fisher or Two Holloway. That's what I want to see on here. Okay, Corey bet. Corey Fisher or, or Two Holloway. I think, I think, uh, I think Mo or somebody tried to help me get him, you know what I'm saying, but I don't know what happened with that. So if you can... Hit him for me, Brody. Tell him tap in, bro. I love I, to have him. I, I, I reach. I reach out. I reach out. For sure. I for sure. Appreciate. I just spoke to see fish. Now that I think about it. Okay, bet, bet, bet. I, I, I reach out. All right, bet, my guy, man. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate All love, you, guys. man. Big fan of the podcast, bro. You had me cracking up that one day you got on uh, uh, QC QC Live, bro. You had me in tears, like hey, yo, on, they because they let that kid talk trash. Yo, we. <laughs> He undercut the guy and he got hurt. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you tried to hurt him. How you end up hurt? 
Then that man said he broke what he uh, tore his Achilles or something. Yeah, like that. He, and then I saw him in the club. He ain't tear shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kid is a bug out, man. He ain't tear shit. Oh man, all right, my guy, man. I know you're busy, bro. Go on do your thing, bro. All love, bro. All all love, my guy. Peace, bro. All right.